The MG42 was a light machine gun used by the Nazis during World War II. It was developed from the earlier MG34, a machine gun made in secret by the Nazis as the Treaty of Versailles made it illegal for them to develop any new machine guns. The MG42 gained the nickname Hitler's Buzzsaw due to the distinct sound created while it was firing. The MG42 is a belt-fed machine gun chambered in 7.92 by 57 Mauser, fed from either a 50 round or 250 round belt box. It is a recoil operated open bolt gun that would have bipods either on the front or the center depending on the role of that specific MG42. The MG42 had an incredibly high cyclic rate and as such its barrel could become prone to overheating, thus it also has a quick change barrel allowing for the hot barrel to be removed and replaced in a matter of seconds. After Germany's loss in World War I, the new government, now known as the Weimar Republic, signed the Treaty of Versailles. One of the most famous treaties in history, as many believe it to have been the reason why the Nazis managed to rise to power. Among many other things, the Treaty of Versailles banned Germany from developing machine guns. Despite this, in 1932, the Reichswehrministerium, or the Minister of the German Army, ordered several companies to work on a new Einheit Maschinengewehr, or Universal Machine Gun. The gun needed to be lightweight with a quick change barrel, allowing for the barrel to be quickly replaced if it were to overheat after long periods of sustained fire. It also needed to have a simplified operation while also having both semi and fully automatic capabilities, plus two different cyclic rates, a higher and lower rate of fire. One of the companies that had begun designing this machine gun was Rheinmetall, an automotive and arms company that had been founded in 1889. Four years prior, they had designed the MG30, to get around the ban on machine gun development, they bought a majority of shares in a Swiss company, which was where they had their development. The MG34 was based on this design, being adapted by Heinrich Vollmer of Mauser Industries. He adapted the design to accept MG13 style 75 round Paton and Tommel 34 spring loaded drum magazines. These magazines were highly complex, requiring many specialized tools to be able to reload them. The MG34, designed by Heinrich Vollmer, was thus accepted by the Reichswehr Ministerium. In 1937, the design was changed slightly so that it would accept reusable, non-disintegrating GERT 33 and 34 metal belts alongside the GERT Tormel 34 belt drum magazine. As the MG34 was based on different machine gun designs, such as the MG30, the German arms industry had to negotiate with different companies over patents and royalties. From 1934 to 1936, the Waffenamt, or German arms agency, realized that the MG34's design was far too complex for mass production, and thus it started looking for ways to simplify it. The final version of the MG34 was accepted into service in early 1939, and would remain the weapon of the Wehrmacht until the introduction of the MG42. This is because German military doctrine favored the machine gun, most of the other soldiers in the 10 soldier squad being armed with carabiner 98Ks, even later into the war when the Gewehr 43, a semi-automatic rifle, had been developed. The MG34 was a complicated design which used high quality alloys. This meant that it would be very costly to produce MG34s in both time and money, requiring many specialized workers to make them. The MG34 remained in use and in production throughout the entirety of World War II, with only 350,000 being produced in that time. Thus, in 1937, three companies were asked to create new designs based off of the MG34, but cheaper and easier to mass produce. In October of 1937, the early designs along mock-up versions of the designs were submitted. The design by Grossfuss AG was the best of the three, employing a roller locking system operated via the gun's recoil, as opposed to the gas operated system in the other two guns. This is interesting as the Grossfuss company had no prior experience with firearms, instead specializing in lanterns. Dr. Werner Gruner was one of the main designers of this firearm, specializing in mass production. Once he was given the task of developing an Einhardt machine gewehr, he took an army machine gunner's class to familiarize himself with machine guns before seeking input from soldiers. He then recycled a Mauser-developed operating system and incorporated features from his new experience with machine guns. His design was largely made from pressed and stamped parts of sheet metal, which greatly simplified the gun, allowing for better mass production. The more important parts were still made from milled steel, which would, be, which would then be spot welded and riveted in place. This new design took half the amount of time to build as the MG34, required almost half as many raw materials to build, and cost a quarter less. In April of 1938, Grossfuss was given a variety of areas to improve on, leading to the prototype MG39. The MG39 was visually and functionally very similar to the MG34. 
This was intentional as it would re require no additional training to teach a soldier how to operate one and it, it could use the same parts such as the bipod and mounts. From the soldier's perspective, the only difference was in a simplifying of the gun's iron sights. Further trials led to the MG39 being accepted for production, and in early 1942, the final model was officially accepted as the MG42 and entered mass production, with contracts going to Grossfuss, Mauserwerker, Gusloff, Werker, and Steyr. It was first deployed in early 1942 into the Africa Corps, and by mid-1942, all other fronts, and by 1943, MG42 production had surpassed MG34 production. The MG-34 and MG-42 were used throughout World War II, gaining terrifying reputations. The guns, alongside Nazi military doctrine, were so effective that they led to the Allies, most notably the United States, adjusting their own doctrines to those similar to the Nazis, with the American M60 being partially based on the MG-42. The designs were so effective they continued on in the Bundeswehr, the German military, to this day, in the form of the MG-3. 